The cartridge belt rib stitch is an excellent example of a reversible pattern. It has a stitch multiple of four plus three stitches and a row repeat of only two rows. It's created in a pattern of four stitches that include a column of slip stitches, on each side columns of garter stitches, and between the ribs a column of slip stitches. The result is a reversible pattern that looks exactly the same on both sides. And here's how it's done. Row one of this stitch pattern repeat begins with three knit stitches. Then bring your yarn to the front and slip the next stitch by sliding it from your left needle to the right without working it and take the yarn to the back. Now repeat the three knit stitches. These four stitches, the slip stitch and three knit stitches, are repeated all the way to the end of the row. Row two of this stitch pattern repeat is very similar to row one, but the sequence is different. So now you will start with one stitch, then you will slip one stitch with the yarn in front. Next, you will knit three stitches. and slip one stitch and repeat those four stitches, three knits and one slip to the last stitch. Now when you come to the end of the row, you'll do your last pattern repeat by knitting three stitches and slipping one stitch and finish the row with one knit stitch. And there you have the reversible cartridge belt rib stitch. I'm James Cox, and I can't stop knitting.